What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the mythic weapons in Fortnite Chapter 5, if they're overrated and if it's better to use your own custom version of the weapon where you have control over the attachments or if the mythics are truly better. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give a like, subscribe, like some more, and comment down below what your favorite mythic weapon is in Chapter 5 or if there is a mythic where you much prefer having your own attachments versus the mythics. So typically in fortnite what changes with weapon rarity is going to be that you get an increase in damage and then you also get a base faster reload speed so based on that you would think okay the better rarity is always going to be better because more damage is going to be just great and then faster reload is also going to be a nice little benefit um but this season, the mythics also come with attachments that cannot be changed. Whereas when you have any other version of the weapon, you can customize the attachments to your own liking at the mod bench. So for both shotguns, I think that you should probably take the mythic versions over any other rarity. I think damage matters the most um, on shotguns compared to any of the other weapon types because typically per rarity increase shotguns gain more damage but also shotguns have the most inconsistent damage like if you guys play fortnite you know sometimes you shoot a pump you get 100 damage sometimes you get 20 so just any extra like base damage you can get to potentially get more damage from your shotgun shot is going to be better because the shotguns deal damage based on how many pellets you hit um, and so you just want to have as much damage as possible to hopefully kind of not only have higher highs with good headshots, but also kind of reduce some of that inconsistency. I also think attachments matter the least on shotguns in Fortnite Chapter 5 because a lot of the attachments have to do with like reducing recoil. Uh, or like there's like kind of that divide with like the grips and the barrel attachments on whether or not you want to go for reducing recoil or something else and the shotguns don't really have recoil that matters um, so I think that for shotguns the higher damage is just going to be nice uh, but we'll talk about it anyways just in case you guys have any sort of problems with some of the attachments so the frenzy auto shotgun gets three to four damage increase per rarity and the mythic has 78 base damage while the gold has 75 the attachments on oscar's frenzy shotgun are not ideal uh, for one it has a sight which a lot of players just don't like on their shotgun it also has drum mag which you know can be good but the drum mag attachment does make it take longer for you to reload and the auto shotgun already has a pretty slow reload so i like having the speed mag attachment on the auto shotgun it also has the vertical foregrip which really isn't that helpful because recoil isn't a problem with this weapon i would rather have laser sight um and then also it has the muzzle brake which reduces recoil again i don't think that's a big deal because it does just recoil doesn't really matter on the shotguns like it would with like an ar shock uh, pistol smg or and also i don't really like using suppressors on my shotgun at this point in time so i think the frenzy auto shotgun mythic is just going to be better i want that extra damage because again you guys know how inconsistent shotguns can be and i don't think these attachments mess the weapon up enough to the point where i don't want to use it uh, if I was picking my attachments, I would pick something different, but I'm fine using the drum mag over the the speed mag. And then also the lack of laser sight isn't the biggest deal. Uh, I would rather just take the higher base damage, but that's just me. If you really dislike sights on the shotguns, that may change your opinion. Uh, the hammer pump gets between 4 to 5 damage increase per rarity, and Peter Griffin's has 108 damage compared to the Legendary's 103. Uh, the attachments for this, I think, are actually super good. It has 1.35x sight, the speed mag, angled foregrip, and muzzle brake. I think these attachments are really good because I personally don't mind the sights on the shotguns. For the auto shotgun, I just never really aim in anyway, so it's no big deal. And then with the pump, I think the red dot can actually be pretty good if you only aim in in situations where it's good to aim in. If you guys have watched my videos for like a long time, I've often suggested to not ADS in close range with shotguns the times where you might want to aim in is if like it's a more slow paced controlled fight if you're like looking through a window that might be a time where you want to aim in if your opponent's just like barely showing behind a piece of cover like maybe they're behind a rock or a tree and their foot is showing and they don't know it you can aim in and hit it there if you're peeking from behind cover things like that if you're 
out in the open in a close range fight or in a fight where like movement is really involved you don't want to be aiming in those fights with the shotguns the more chaotic fast paced fights you don't want to be aiming but those are often the situations where if you have a red dot on your shotgun it's going to really mess you up uh so that's why i don't mind the red dot on the shotgun because personally i don't aim in in the fights where it's really detrimental to have it if you are someone that still has that habit of adsing these attachments may change your opinion but for both the shotguns uh, I think the attachments are really good. If I, uh, When I use my pump, I use basically the same exact attachments as Peter Griffin's. And then while the auto shotgun, my setup differs, I still think the added damage of Oscars is worth having. ARs, SMGs, and pistols, I typically don't care about rarity as much as shotguns because you usually only get one to two damage increase per rarity. Like you saw both the shotguns had like upwards of like four damage per rarity and then the pump had like five. Uh, so there's more damage to gain per rarity with shotguns, but also the ARs, the pistols, and the SMGs, they don't do inconsistent damage. If your AR does 24 damage, it does 24 damage every time you hit the person. You don't have to worry about sometimes it doing like 6 or 12 or whatever. At really long range, it will decrease, but you get damage for hitting the shot. It's not like a spread. You don't get damage based on how many pellets you hit. So them just being more consistent makes me matter about just increasing that damage uh less and then i also think the attachments matter more on these weapons because uh you have things like recoil to potentially worry about whereas like with either of the shotguns i didn't really think that was a big deal so with these next few weapons you may end up in a situation where you prefer a lower rarity with attachments you choose rather than the mythics because you know to short I don't think damage matters as much with these weapons, and I think attachments matters more compared to the shotgun, so there's just like a difference there. Uh, the Nemesis AR gets 1 to 2 damage increase per rarity, with the Mythic having 37 base damage compared to the Legendary's 35, so not a huge damage difference there. The attachments on the Mythic Nemesis AR, Montague's Enforcer AR is a Nemesis. Uh, it has 2x sight drum mag vertical foregrip and muzzle break both vertical foregrip and muzzle break reduce your recoil and personally i think those are the best in slot attachments for assault rifles if you're trying to build an ar for medium to long range you want it to be as accurate as possible so i think muzzle break vertical foregrip are excellent the drum mag is fine again i prefer the speed mag because the drums make it take longer to reload and typically you don't get a huge increase in bullets to where it really changes how i'm using the gun so i'd rather just reload faster uh it's fine though it's not the end of the world to me the problem area for a lot of the people on this weapon though is going to be the 2x sight I, i've talked to a lot of players who just really hate having the 2x sight on their ar so if you hate that weapon like let's say you love the nemesis ar but you just feel not great with the 2x on it it wouldn't be the end of the world for you to use a legendary one with a site that you enjoy using than this mythic one with a site where you're not really going to hit anything if you feel really bad with it or really inaccurate with it uh, I, I think that there's a case to be made there because that two extra damage is not the biggest deal. The rest of the attachments I think are, you know, solid though, and probably what you're going to want. Um, it's just the two X site I feel like is going to make or break for some people. Overall though, I think Montague's Enforcer AR is really solid. The Striker AR is the mythic where I think a lot of people may end up preferring a regular version with their choice of attachments. The Striker AR gets an increase of 1 to 2 damage per rarity. The mythic has 29 base damage, while the gold has 28. And this also has a really good fire rate for an AR, so that added damage doesn't matter as much because you can get out shots so quick. The damage also, like I talked about this before with the shotguns, another reason why I care more about the damage with the shotguns is they tend to have a lower fire rate, so you need to like really make that shot count. Whereas like with the striker AR, if it takes one extra bullet to kill, it's not going to increase your time to kill too much because it does have such a high fire rate. The attachments on this are Red Eye Sight, Speed Mag, Angled Foregrip, and Suppressor. And the Mythic Striker AR is really good, don't get me wrong. Uh, but if you're someone who wants to use it at more like longer ranges, you might do better with different attachments. Because this weapon has neither the Vertical Foregrip nor the Muzzle Break. And those are the recoil reducing attachments that I talked about, which I think are like the best for ARs. So you have nothing to reduce your recoil on this weapon. Uh, and so if you are someone who really struggles to control recoil or, you know, you like using this AR at really long range, then you're probably going to do better with your 
You know, you would do better with a legendary striker AR, muzzle break and vertical foregrip to get as little recoil as possible, make the weapon as accurate as possible than you would with these attachments. I think these attachments are quite good if you like sniping. If you like sniping a lot and you're good at sniping, then having the red eye sight, I prefer the 1.35, but having the red eye sight with low magnification, it's not a big deal. Angled foregrip makes it nice and snappy. And then the suppressor, it's not going to reduce your recoil, but it's not the end of the world either. The suppressor does reduce your range a little bit, so you're going to lose some damage at range sooner than you would otherwise. It doesn't affect the bullet travel time. It's just like the range at which you get reduced damage. Uh, I don't think that's the biggest deal though with this weapon because... Like I said, the snipers are so good and the snipers are so meta. I think the time where players would prefer to use the base version of the striker are with their attachments is if you, you know, aren't good at controlling recoil or you just don't really want to bother controlling recoil, then I think you're going to do much better with the regular version with recoil reducing attachments. Like what is going to be better? The gun you can hit shots with or the one you can't hit shots with, like, or you don't hit shots as consistent. Like, I think the one that you can consistently hit shots with is going to be the better choice if you are someone who doesn't want to control recoil or isn't good at controlling recoil. So the striker AR is kind of the one that I think a lot of players, especially like newer players who aren't as experienced with shooters, are probably going to be better off using their uh, custom with muzzle break vertical foregrip rather than the mythic version. Uh, I touched on the suppressor reducing range, and I kind of talked about this with the shotguns where we'll talk about the suppressor later on. Uh, it was leaked that there would be an augment coming to the game that makes suppressed weapons do extra damage to shields. So if that does come to the game, I could see a world where, one, the Mythic Striker AR rises in priority because it has that suppressor, which is going to do extra damage to shields. Or like, you know, the difference between having reduced recoil and having that extra damage is nice. But also... The shotguns, neither of them have suppressors. And if that augment comes to the game and is very good, we may end up in a world where, you know, using a shotgun with a suppressor and that augment is like a really, really good combo. So depending on if that augment comes to the game and if it's very good, it could change my opinion on either of the mythic shotguns as well. It may end up changing yours uh, too. So just keep that in mind. The It's hard to make videos in Fortnite that are like future proof forever. Uh, just know that there may be an augment coming to the game that makes having a suppressor much better than it currently is. And the final mythic we're going to talk about is going to be Valera's Hyper SMG. This is a weapon I don't really care that much about at all because I don't really use the Hyper SMG. I would rather have like Shotgun Striker AR and Sniper or Shotgun Burst SMG and Sniper. So I don't really find myself using the Hyper SMG at all. I used it a little bit in build mode earlier in the season. I think the mythic is fine, but it's just not really a weapon that I want to use. The Hyper SMG gets one damage increase per rarity, except in the case of purple and gold where it gets zero damage increase according to the Fortnite wiki for some reason, uh, they both have 16. The mythic version has 17 base damage and the purple and gold have 16. So you get one extra damage. I also think that uh, damage is really irrelevant with this weapon because it has such a high fire rate, like going from 16 to 17 damage not a big deal but even if it is you're in that one specific situation where like that one damage point would matter taking one extra shot to kill with the hyper smg is not a big deal because it has such a high fire rate the attachments are 1.35x sight drum mag vertical foregrip and suppressor personally if i was building the hyper smg i think i'd rather go laser sight and muzzle break to get better hip fire which is pretty valuable on the smg while also reducing a bit of recoil but i don't think these attachments are like super problematic either i think if you like using the hyper smg and prefer a different build i don't think it's the end of the world to use a lower rarity version but I also don't think it's the end of the world to just make do with this one because I don't think the attachments are bad by any means. And again, it's just not really a weapon that I care much about or think much about. Uh, if I was going to make a tier list of weapons, I think the Hyper SMG is just kind of like C tier. It's fine, but there's other weapons in the game I'd rather use. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. Just kind of wanted to touch on this because I've had a lot of people ask me about why I don't use the Mythics sometimes, like why I leave the Hyper SMG and just use a Striker AR instead. And then also talking about like if they should use the Mythic versus the weapon with their attachments. And I, I feel like it really comes down to how much you dislike the attachments the Mythic has and how much better you are with your version because for a lot of weapons, the, the damage difference isn't going to be the end of the world either way, but 
this, that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys found this helpful informative interesting as always if you did remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching